Hello and welcome back to Deadfire. So, we need to explore this island chain up here. We've already explored a little bit uh, in the flooded cave with the lich. So, uh, hopefully it's not going to be, you know, the same level of difficulty as we go on. Uh, what I will say is I do have a little bit of a cold. I'm a little bit ill. So, uh, yeah, apologies about that from a uh, vocal standpoint. I'm not going to be top notch, but should be okay. Okay, so I think this is where we actually need to explore. This bit up here. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Is that a storm or... Oh my god, that's a really large storm. Okay. That's a massive storm. I skirt it? Yeah. Yeah. Never went to there? Oh no, I'm not going all the way around. What's up with... Oh wow! This storm is so big it appears on the map. Ah, I know what this is. So we were told that there was an Adra store. Like there was a large source of Adra energy in the top right of the map. Now, that is likely to be, just calling it now, as end game content. Okay. The crew have uh, come to us again. What is it? More, um, right. Oh no, this is a new one. You stand astride the stern castle, gazing across the deck of the more defiant, and out onto the sea beyond, when Beodul approaches. Uh, there's a problem, Captain. Corin Carterfieldus has been helping themselves to extra rations of grog on account of their injuries. The whole crew knows, and no one's happy about it. Okay. What would you do in my place, Beodul? Well, I suppose most captains would lash. Corin Carterfieldus, stealing from ship stores, is bad for everyone. All right, let's ask him about it. They locate coin counterfieldus below decks and demand to know why the sailor took extra grog. By way of an answer, coin counterfieldus unwraps the bandages from around the wound, displaying a ragged red flash and purpled skin. It hurts worse than anything, Captain. Drink's the only thing that makes it bearable. Well, let's deal with this. The old one nods. Your orders, Captain. Uh, I can publicly chastise him and then sneak him grog. Hmm. And let him rest. Uh, I can give everyone rations. You know what? I think we will use our sleight of hand. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give him some grog behind uh, everyone else's back. You have coin counter fuel this hauled on deck, making it clear that he'll have no more grog. And if you catch him filching again, he'll skip straight past lashes to key hauling. By the time you finish, Coin Counter Fieldus quakes in terror, and most of the rest of the crew is pale too. Later, you sneak Coin Counter Fieldus a flask, warning him to keep the show of generosity quiet, lest you be forced to make an example of him. While you overhear a few grumbled complaints about lack of maritime justice, most of your crew seems content with your decision, and the tension melts away over the next few days. Okay. Alright, do we have any injured crew still? Yeah, it's just those ones. Okay. It's a long way back. Hmm. I wonder if there's something up that way. I do want to explore it. I do also... I did just notice we have a few things back here that we missed. Like this bit right here. How do we even land there? Oh, I guess we haven't discovered it. Because we haven't cleared that tiny bit of... Uh, stuff out of the way. Okay, so we got nothing. We got ammo. We got lager. We got flint and tinder. We got milk. We got prince bee colors and we're done. Nice. Ah, okay, we have a proper port. Don't know where it is, but we have a proper port. Oh. Okay, an orchard bustling with kawiki trees. Okay, so we can buy kawiki fruit here. Yeah. I'll buy a bunch of kawiki fruit. Lap to leaves. Don't really care. Water, don't really care. Cap to tea. That seems useful. We're out of medicine. That's unfortunate. That'd be why no one's healing. Hmm. Uh, well, that's that island. Head out here. Oh, we're also almost out of water, I just noticed. Uh, please don't actually be out of water. That'd be bad. Uh, okay, so let's put on that. We got milk. We got some of that tea, but I kind of, I think the tea's pretty good. The ale... Yeah, okay, grog. We're up at 55 now. We probably need to rest at some point. 
Mm. Get the rum in here as well. Running fairly low. Uh, stick that in there as well. We need 61. I see. You know what? I think I will go by the water. Just so that we're uh, not left high and dry. Literally, I guess. Okay, head out. Let us buy. Well, not buy. Let us put the water wherever that is. Oh, we have 300 water. Oh. Let's solve that issue. So, we've been that way. I haven't seen... I guess we want to explore around the storm. Like, up here. Yeah. Who have we got here? We got Veen. Do we need to attack Veen? I assume at some point, yes, but... Not right now. Do a little quick save. Um, let's have a look at the ship. Ship is okay, in terms of it. Do any of these people need to go back on their jobs? No. Should be fine. Our deckhand actually might be able to go back, although... No, we're still good. Yeah, okay. We're still fine. I think we're going to attack Veen. The ship is a very weak ship. Compared to ours. It's not that weak. Must be an upgraded version. Okay, uh, we're going to enter combat because we're going to take uh, very little in terms of injuries. I'm going to go full uh, steam ahead. They're turning. We also want to turn. It's going to take two turns for us to turn now. Mm, okay, they've shot. Okay, not great. We're going to hold position. They're turning. We're going to fire. Nice. Cannonballs, I think. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. 14. Miss. 12. 9. 12. We get another barrage off. That's going to kill them. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, Jibe. One, it stops us being hit very easily. And two, it gets our other cannons in range. Okay, they're thinking about it. They're considering their move. It's, uh... You know, taking them a while. Oh, they've decided they're going to turn. Okay. They fired. They didn't do too much to us. I'm going to hold position for one turn. They're gonna move, right? Yeah, they're 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 running around. That's fine. We should be able to take him out with this next shot. Yeah, definitely. It's not our best gun set, but it should be okay. Nine, six, one damage to below crew, and the hull is at zero and went way below zero, so that should be the end of them. Nice. Okay, we got some levels and we picked up some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Not too bad. Let's head back up to where we were. And see what we've got going on. So this storm must be caused by Adra energy. That much we've already kind of worked out. I just want to map out where it goes to. Oh my god, it's massive. They're a bit in the middle where it disappears. No, that's there all the way around. Oh, wow. That is absolutely massive. Ooh. Did we go into the storm? I didn't mean to go into the storm. Uh, the storms of Andra's mortars uh, encompass the visible horizon. Hurricane winds roar like an imprisoned beast, blowing enough force to warp the very seas. Past the curtain of rain above the swell of waves, you just barely perceive the outline of colossal Adra pillars. Sail out of the storm. Yes. That's a very good thing that they put in there. That's the... No, I didn't really mean to go to the main uh, quest ending zone. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's, some, that's someone we need to kill, I think. Hmm. We head round there without... Mm, that's going to path through the storm, isn't it? 
No, we're okay. That is massive. Oh wow, it keeps going. I'm not gonna play games with my crew in the hold again. Yeah, not interested, thank you. I mean, avoid ones that we've done before, because like, honestly, they're not that interesting. Ashen Maw? Do we have to go there? I don't remember. Hmm. Still just kind of interested in mapping this out here. That heads along here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll head through and grab the shipwreck. We can. We cannot head through there. Alright. So head down this way then. Uh, is there a way through? No. That just gonna make us go all the way around. I can tell it already. That's fine. Absolutely fine. It almost made us go directly into the storm there. Not ideal. Okay. Hmm. I guess the orange ones on your map are the uh, bounties that you can potentially get in that area. Hmm. Interesting. Never left one on the map long enough to uh, know that. Okay, so that's where that line of islands goes. Okay, so that is where we're going to end the game. It's also massive, which makes me realize that the map is not that much larger. Oh wow, we've just wandered directly into this guy. His ship is worse than my ship. He's Kratunus. What's that? I'm not sure what this is. Unfamiliar colors. It's a long ship. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to fight it. Full speed ahead. They're holding. We're going to turn to starboard. Case is two turns to turn. 500. They hit someone. Okay. They're coming in closer. They're coming in well close. Alright, I need to fire. Uh, I can. Wow, we need to hold. They're, they're closing in because they know that we need... We're slow. Okay. Uh, it's going to be grape shot. Because we're trying to take out their crew and fire. Okay. Let's see what we got. Is that a crit? Miss, miss, miss. Two damage. Ma wow, that's slow. Okay. Uh, brace for impact. Brace for impact. They're going to charge into us. Brace for impact. Oh, they're firing from no range. 10 damage to our hull. Brace for impact. They're charging. Knew it was happening. That's fine. Resunder uh, barrels down upon you with, with a raucous cry from its crew. The ship plows into yours. All right. Impressed. So I don't recognize this group at all. Oh wow! So they they're like giants. Okay. What actually are they? The Rathun Fanatics, it doesn't say. They got a weakness to frost, which is good because we've got um Mayo of the Frost weapon now. Uh I'm just gonna move Maya over here to start. Oh we have the new guy as well, which kinda doesn't work very well because he's not leveled up. That's okay. Maya's gonna jump. Bird's gonna go for them. We're gonna um move over here. Aloft's going to take a step back. Eddier is going to charge. Actually, Eddier is just going to start walking. We'll charge him manually in a second and we'll move Seraphim here. Go! Okay, Eddier is going to charge that guy. I'm going to shoot our blind on that guy. Um... 
Let's see. Yeah, and then hit that on that raider. All right, now Seraphin can target these guys, which is what I was waiting for. Dominate. Okay. Should be all right here. That looks like it hurt. This is futile. Nice. That's good. We need to switch to our uh, dagger, and now we can start going after the one who's got on us. Okay. What are they weak to? They're weak to frost, it said. We do have this rake one. is isn't very useful in a lot of circumstances. It might become very, very useful right now. Oh, worse than rough. Excuse me, Takehu. Um, I believe that Loth was shouting that at that moment. Okay, uh, they look real weak. Gonna drop a freezing pillar over here if I can. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I think not. I just tried to move. Oh no, I just moved a lot. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, we're pretty low. Time for a little uh, heal. Um, I might just chain lightning them. How do they, how do they feel about lightning? Not immune. That seems fine. Lava beyond sick. Nice. We took out some bullseye. Okay. But speaking of strange so, language. Yeah, another attack, Cap. Hmm. Huh. Wonder what's going on there. Oh, thick, worth and raw. What we got? We got the triumph. Hmm. Oh, we'll take all, obviously. But weird. Weird. Uh, do we still, we still have the same injury. Ah, Beaduel is now injured as well. Wait, did we not just? Oh wow! Now there are two more long ships. Okay, Beaduel is novice boatswain. Have anyone else who's even slightly a boatswain? No. Guess you're gonna take it because uh, you kind of have to do the job. All right. Now we can attack the smaller ships as well. Uh, do we want to attack? Yeah, we want to enter combat because we take less damage when we enter combat anyway. Even if we just charge them. Or, let's turn to the other direction this time. They're firing. They set our sails on fire. Okay. Not great. Uh, I think I'm going to fire anyway. Ah, uh, no, we can't. This is our turn to change our report to then. And then we can stick a bunch of people to report to this. Even though they're injured. Report. Okay. So how's that looking? That's got people on it. Okay. Fire the starboard cannons. Wait, we got 0% chance? Really? Still? Oh, because they moved into 250. Wait, what's this thing's range? 350. Oh, it just doesn't do anything below this range. Um, that's just a really low... Maybe we just have a really low chance of hitting this ship in general. Maybe I just gotta turn to starboard and uh, get ready to charge. Okay. Uh, full speed ahead. Move to within 20. Race for impact. Nice. We received some hull damage, but injury should be low. Okay. Wasn't ideal, but we will do it again. Hmm. Okay. Right. Uh, I quite like the jump up the stairs move to start with. And, um... Her jump to the side move was pretty good. Bird's gonna fly after that one. Um, Seraphim's gonna move over here. Eddier's gonna charge uh, this one. And Loth's gonna start casting uh, this ability on that one. 
go. That's right. Ah, yes. Uh, here. Start firing. I'll take you. We want to attack that one. Uh, I guess we want to switch to that and then uh, strike the bell. Okay. If we get the right angle here, we can do this again. Right on target. Like that. Oh, ah, worse than run. Milan, Nice, we took one out with that. Uh, okay. Where's Eddie? Eddie is in here. Okay, so knock down that one. Right. Uh, where is May? May is here. Thorny root seems good. Now use this as well. Right now. Like Watch that. Your fire. Oh, got Show stunned by Takehu. Great. Just, just fantastic. Death, of course. Okay, and um, ice in that direction. Like frog in a figurehead. <laughs> Still got it. Nice. Oh. We can probably get a kill here. How do you like that? And then the same on this one. Let's see. Nice. And then it's just that guy over there. We can switch back to our bow and shoot him. Nice. Okay. That seems good. Next one. We might as well take out all three while we're here. Obviously, you enter combat, because even though all we're going to do is we're going to go as fast as we can towards them, it's still uh, less damage than just taking the damage. We're going to charge into them this time. We have taken quite a lot of hull damage over this, I will admit. We do need to repair a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, same group. Basically the same fight, but that's all right. All right, new plan. Switch to dagger, wait there. Allah. Uh, I think that one's still fairly good. Maya's gonna jump. Actually, kind of up the stairs this time, I think. Seraph in there. Eddie or charge. Uh, that one. And we're good. Lava uh, no, just attack that one. We'll come over here and blind that guy. I see. We're probably gonna have to blind that guy because he's running at us. And then here, we'll just cast a power up buff on us. <laughs> right. Uh, freezing pillar on, on the back group. There we go. Oh, I'll be fine, really. And nice, that's gonna be good. I need something stronger. Um, lightning. Oh, actually, you target one of them. There we go. Screwed. We target onto you. one who's still alive and yeah, that worked even better. Okay, that was good. I think we optimized that fight. Okay, it's not sure who they are, but they're now dead. I go over here. We got the burning shoals. Hmm. Okay. Head a little bit south, just to clear out some of that. Winura Tle. Okay. Heading this way. Do a little quick save, and let's head along to the left first. The jungle grows increasingly dense as you travel east. 
The shade provided by the canopy does little to mitigate the heat, moisture and perpetual choir of insects thick in the air. The path rises to a sharp incline and your legs ache as you ascend. Slowly the jungle thins and you find yourself atop a long ridge. Before you spreads a yawning chasm. It stretches from the mountains in the north towards the sea to the south. You can't make out the bottom for the darkness. Curiously, a rope spans the divide. Um, take advantage of the view. From the top of the cliff, you look back over the western expanse of the island. The dead fire shimmers blue towards the horizon. The islands of the Ku o Riku are just visible to the south. You can even make out the more defiant to anchor in the distance. It's as if the entire eastern side of the island was forced up out of the ground, or perhaps the western half sank into the sea. To the northeast, a thin line of smoke rises from the jungle. I don't suppose you know what this place is. Um. Seraphin. Uh, could be the Winora Cleft Cap. Heard tale of it once or thrice. Said to be deeper than the sea itself. Not that that's been making a whole lot of sense. What with it being on land and all. Okay, mail? A yawning cavern. Why don't you give it a name? See if it catches on. It shrugs. Okay, if, if I think Seraphin was the only one who might know. Um, let what do we need to exa history to examine the rope? Examine the rope. We have it. Hmm. Right. Search the surrounding area, Mia. There's nothing overly suspicious. Certainly no sign of traps. Recent footprints crowd the rocks. Uh, the rope is anchored to. Though. Kith and Ogre both. Several sets, looks like. Examine the rope. Aloth. I'm uh, not sure what to tell you, Aloth says. Looks like a normal rope. It should be safe to cross. The divide is vast. The crossing would be strenuous and a fall fatal. Cross. The rope creaks as you grab hold and shimmy out onto it. You pull yourself across, hand by hand, until you hang suspended over the gorge. Your muscles tingle and your hands burn. You got further left to go than you've already crossed. Well, keep going then. Oh, uh, Eddier. You continue across the gorge, your sweat dripping into the abyss below you. At last, you reach the safety of the far side. Beyond the canyon, the jungle opens up into a broad field interspersed with huge, fruit-dotted trees. The jungle continues towards the mountains to the north. But to the southeast, the dead fire is visible above a sharp decline towards the shore. What draws your eye, however, is the sight that is the sight that rises before you. One of the trees, blackened and blistered with flame, hosts a number of Amawa-sized corpses suspended by the neck. Hey, I'm not dreaming this, right? Look, if I wanted to see this kind of thing, I'd have stayed home. Eddier, his mouth firm, diverts attention to the ground nearby. I was gonna say, that looks awfully familiar to the uh, start of Pillars 1, where you go into Eddier's hometown, effectively, and see much the same sight. Minus it be, instead of Mao, it's, uh, well, it, it's all kinds of kith. In fact, I think that might be the exact same one from Pillars 1. Now, here's my clues for you. One, look right at the edge here. That is very, very solid in terms of that line. That's telling you that this is be like this was not originally created in this space. Like the left hand edge, fine. So crinkly like that. A solid line tells me that that's been cut from somewhere else and pasted in here. Now, here's the, my second clue. Said a bunch of Amawa were here. This figure right here is shorter than an Amawa. You can tell it. They're shorter than everyone. That's because in the first game, you speak to a dwarf there. Those are my clues. Also, I've seen the picture before. Nearby movement and voices grab your attention. You see, of all people, four members of your crew standing around the base of the tree. We should bury them, that's what they'd want. What the gods demand, old Egrum growls. Sure, coin counter field the answers, right after we finish going through their pockets. They don't have any pockets. Shield Sister Dahlia says, strictly speaking. Um, Persansnal Sianka frowns up at the tree. Is anybody else worried about who did this? It clearly wasn't Beast or Kith. 
You're suggesting an ogre would hang a bunch of corpses? Owen turned to feel the sass. Because these look like ogre prints to me. Eyes wide, old Engram snaps to attention. Ah, ca Cap'n. What are you doing out here? Owen counter fields coughs. We were out gathering supplies for the more defiant captain. Just as we do when we're docked, the hand points at the tree. And this seemed worth investigating. How did you even get out here? Shield sister uh, Dahlia looked slightly flummoxed by the question. We're sailors, Captain. Sailing is part of the job. Besides, going counter field as chimes in, there was a rope. The line of the gorge wasn't yours then? Uh, no, Captain. Pernasal Sianka answers with a shake of the head. I doubt any one of us even own rope that doesn't belong to the more defiant. I own a rope, John Counterfield as grumbles. It's eight feet long and in fine condition, thank you. Hmm. Well, these aren't supplies, they're corpses. Cut them down and give them a proper burial. Old Eggrim smiles and salutes. Oh, of course, Captain, we'll see to it right away. They draw knives to make the way uh, towards the tree. A few minutes later, uh, Prosanzil Sianka approaches you. Excuse me, Captain, I thought you might want to see these. They look special. The sailor presents a pair of Huana shoes. They're a little sooty, but otherwise no worse for wear. We've gained the footprints of Awataka. Cast with level 2 priest spells goes up and gives you decks. Interesting. These humble sandals once belonged to the Rawatai priest, Awataka, who kept no home and had no family. He chose a life of self-imposed exile, wandering the lands of Eora to heal the sick. He would aid anyone in need with no regard for their allegiances or past deeds. Shunned by the aristocracy and elites wherever he went, Awataka ministered in the slums and brothels. He passed no judgment and offered only one peace and acceptance and offered only peace and acceptance. He was often observed after battles, tending to the wounded and comforting the dying on both sides. This eventually drew the ire of a victorious commander. The vagabond priest wanted to preach to whores and degenerates, that was fine, but healing the commander's enemies was a step too far. The commander ordered his troops to execute the meddling priest where he stood. When none of his men proved willing to carry out the order, the commander drew his own blade and struck Awa Taka down. According to legend, Ahu Taka used his dying breath to offer his killer forgiveness. Interesting. He moved towards the tree. Vultures perched among its branches. Vultures perched among its branches peer down at you like judges presiding over a court. Um, let's search the area. While the clothing of these Amara and while the clothing these Awara wear resembles that of the Huana, they favor hides and leather over cloth and shell. Some were stabbed before they were hung or hanged, and bearing wounds consistent with daggers or swords. A few have their throat slit. Few have burn marks. The tree was slowly burned before they were killed. A search for spirits. You see the spirits at the edge of your vision almost without trying. When you open yourself to their presence, they wash over you, a torrential rush of blistering pain and icy fear. The foreign kith jostle you with shoulder and elbow, prod you with blade and spear. Their armor too heavy for the dead fire, shines in the firelight, as if they were virtuous. You spit. No, there's no virtue in these godless raiders. They killed the young druid. They broke the elder's staff and, told, and stole the uh, doctor's herbs. Now they burn Amira's tree. Will it ever again host every known, every color known to God or Kith against the perfect azure dome of the sky? You pray it will. You pray to Amira, to Angati, to Ryuku, Kohopa, and Tangaloa both, and to the faces of Tomau, Tomauhai. What more can these foreigners take from you? It wonder as they cut off lengths of rope. Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, I just want to see who this was. Worshipped primarily by a small subset of animist Amawa native to the Deadfire. Tawa Mohai, sometimes called the Faces of the Hunt, has been generally conflated with Galloway and Red Travelers from outside the archipelago. 
Okay. The vision ends abruptly, washing away like water over the side of a ship's deck. We cross the clearing, leaving the morbid tree behind and re-enter the jungle. At the end, there's a collapsed coal mine. Interesting. Well, have a look. See what's inside. In the distance, you spy a mine set into the side of a hill. Its entrance just barely peeking out from be between the trees. Okay, we'll hike up to the mine. If you're near the mine, a loud explosion rocks the ground. A flurry of terrified birds burst from the nearby trees. A massive cloud of dust rockets out of the cave mouth. Okay. We did that for you, big brute. We only needed the one barrel. One! Maybe if you'd told me that before, we'd have a mine to go and loot. You're the ass with the giant cannon. You should know how explosives work. Friends, we have more than enough gunpowder to solve this problem. Uh-uh. Won't work. Oh, now you know what to do with the black powder, sure. Leave him be and grab a shovel, Akea. Take the shovel yourself. I'll keep the watch. Wasn't built for manual labor. Don't you dare doze off like last time. Interesting. Watch and learn. Anybody mind if I smoke? <laughs> uh... Hi. Eddie. Good. Gonna fall asleep. Very well. Eddie, I'm gonna need you to charge. Everyone else is gonna kill. Huh? As if this day could get any worse. Cook that up, didn't I? Well, we got her. Ooh. Exia's Arcane Blaster. Basic attacks deal lesser raw damage, grants imbued ammunition. Hmm. Interesting. So, causing each shot to deal additional damage. Hmm. Interesting. I like it. It is a very good weapon. Hmm. Well, we'll take it. I'm not sure we're going to use it. She also had a grimoire. Interestingly. We'll take it. If mm -hmm. anything, it's a seraphim weapon. I just realized we need to level up. Uh, mechanics. Uh, diplomacy. Well, no. we're 12 mechanics is probably enough. Let's do a... Um, what's were we putting stealth up or sleight of hand? I think it was a bit of both. Let's go sleight of hand. Let's commit. The one and then streetwise. Here... Uh, we can take the next level here. Before teleporting, we throw daggers, which is definitely potential. Here, we could also take one. The sicken. Hmm. I don't know. That could be good. Anything else that we need here? Deep pockets, probably not. Will defense. I guess I could go for will defense. It did come up recently where we got mind control. Eddier, he's getting athletics and intimidate. He doesn't need to be uh, very uh, flexible. Uh, I've already upgraded that one. I need great soul, tough and fury. Not necessarily needed. Vigorous defense could do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. It gives them another defensive ability if we need it. We haven't really needed it, but there have been some situations where it's got close. Here, uh, I'm going to go stealth and uh, metaphysics. And then we can get one more thing. Increase maximum start and focus? Definitely, actually. Because that means that he will start with, or he could start with 60 um, focus, which would be... Right here. Uh, enough to cast Leave a good it to spell. Me. Right, next level up. Uh, twisted remains of the mine tracks. Giant. Uh, glint down in the darkness below. Apologies. Uh, Sorry, friend. These furs are rank with the smell of mildew and unwashed bodies. Whoa, whoa. Look. The fact that all these people are named makes me think it's some sort of reference. 
I don't know it. Okay. Cast your spell. Oh, thick worth and rough. There's a weapon. That's gonna do it. Everyone on still. Uh. Let's just manually unstealth everyone. Pack in. A loth. Uh, this is where you cast chain lightning. Right between the eyes. Show them how it's done. I did pretty well. Uh, this is where you cast chain lightning again. Lava will be frog in Oh, I got a retarget. Again. Oh, if you talk. Curses. That's okay. Almost killed another one. Oh wait. Oh, we're weak. Heal. Uh, I think we can chuck a heal over as well. Oh, we should also be using the bow. But yeah, definitely chuck a heal over. That's not good. Got hit by some sort of green goop. Okay. I got a cannon in the back, which I think we want to blind. Hopefully. <laughs> right, and then probably strike the bell. Maya's gonna all gonna fire her wounding shot on it. Nice. Big guys down. Uh, here. The knockdown, I think. Right between the eyes. Okay, uh, and then this one. Show them how Evaporate it's done. Them. See you, must me too. That's a lot of health gone. Okay, and then everyone can target him. <laughs> Dead. What for, Cap? Okay, lost the ticket. Yeah. Oh, I'll take the guy you came back. Fare thee okay. well, Cog Swab. Uh. Kill him. See you, mas, me too, man. We'll hit him with one of those. Try in case this. he's healing, which I think he might be because he's a warrior. <laughs> Still got it. Get a couple. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I think we evaporated him. I got this. Uh, we got the Ring of Regeneration, which is very good. That's health restored every I second. I got this. Give me the order. Perfect. Isn't this something? Isn't what something? Ooh, we got some rubble. Then we also got. More stuff. I'm listening. More stuff. And. Uh, it would take a mining crew at least months to clear this cave in. Oh, okay. Grab everyone. Aye, aye. Good. You know what, Allah? You're probably best for this. Just, just, I don't know. Took a fireball at it. Ah, oh, thick worth and rough. There's a weapon! That was fairly impressive. I was kind of expect. I was kind of hoping it might open another area, but it did not. Okay. Head out of there. And yeah, I was thinking we we're gonna have to name it. And that's the last one of Magman's teeth that we need to explore. Interesting. Um. I think of the right. Uh. There we go, that's a perfect name. It just took the first two letters of each one. But call me. Right. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.